ृगणनाहति समी हरिग्रजाते मे धनाजन तपस्त तेज प्रभावल पौरस बुद्धिजोगा नाराधनाय भवती परसपुंसो भक्तियातोष भगवान्गजूत पाय विप्रादिशरगुणयुतादरबिंदनाभ पादारबिंद मुखा सबचंबरिष्यम मे तदर्पित मनो वचने इहाथ प्रौण पुनाति सकल नूरी नईवात्मन प्रभुर निजलाभ पूर्ण मानंग जनादिशो करुण वृणीते जज्जनो भगवती विदधीतम तच्यात्मने प्रतिमुख जुखश्री इन द लास्ट मीटिंग वी आर डिस्कास्ट दट ए पर्सन इन डिवोशन एंड सर्विस इवन दो बॉर्न of a very low family who are eating dog's flesh is better than a qualified brahmin who is not a devotee of the law the only disqualification that he is not a devotee of the lord that makes everything null and void राव भक्त कुतो महदगुना द भागवत स्कूल डज नॉट गिव एनी क्रेडिट फॉर आर मेटीरियल एक्विजिशन सिंपली दे से इट इज सिंपली वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम समय एव ही केवल इफ बाय योर वर्ल्ड एक्विजिशन If by your religious principles, if you are becoming very highly thoughtful man of character, all good qualifications, materially estimated. But if your aptitude is not Krishna consciousness, then Bhagavad says, "Samayi vahi ke balam." It is simply levering. धर्मशानुष्ठित पुंस विश्वक्षीन कथा सुजत नोत्दयत रति यदि सम ही केवल सम मीन्स लेवर एंड केवल मीन्स ओनली धर्मशानुष्ठित पुंस एवरी वन हेज गॉट सम पर्टिक्युलर टाइप ऑफ ड्यूटी I am not speaking of those who are not following the Vedic duty means uh, to follow the duty enjoined by the scriptures. That is called duty. Duty you cannot make anything. Manufacturing duty. So this is my duty. No. Duty means it is authorized. So, according to Vedic principle, everyone has some authorized duty. The classification is Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra. They are followers of the enjoined duties. Others, they are called Panchama. 
they are out of the scope. Uh, so, even those who are du- following the duties, Brahmin's duties, Chatriya's duties, Vaishya's duties, Sudra's duty, the more you come lower, the duty charge becomes uh, smaller. Uh, just like the Brahmin. They have to qualify in twelve kinds of qualifications. The Kshatriyas, they have to qualify themselves in seven kinds of qualifications. The Vaishyas, they have to qualify themselves in three kinds of qualifications. And the Sudras, they have to qualify themselves in one. That's all. What is that one? Ah, simply to serve the master faithfully. That's all. Purichat jatmakam karnam shudra karma sabhavaja. A shudra means one who is simply to satisfy the master. He cannot live independent. He must seek out, just like a dog. A dog living independently means it is a street dog. There is no comfort. A street dog has no comfort. There are cats and dogs, they will find out some shelter. Just like this cat, <laughs> Govinda Das's cat. As soon as Govinda Dasi comes out, uh, immediately she comes on the feet. My dear mother, please keep me on your feet. So that is fortunate. She has selected, it has selected a Vaishnavi. So it will have some good effect. But if the selection is wrong, so our Vaishnava principle is we have to qualify ourselves just like cats and dogs. But we are not going to serve the ordinary person. Krishna and his representative. Then his life is perfect. Kalo Sudra Sambhava, in this age everyone is practically a Sudra, seeking a master. So let him seek a master. Krishna is prepared. He says, Saru Dhanman just accept me as your master. The master is ready. If we accept this master, then our life is successful. Even though you are now in Sudras, but don't make mistake to find out a master with a nonsense. Then life is spoiled. So uh, Prahlad Maharaj says, the sapachanga vibharishtam, because one has dedicated his life, because without dedication one's life to the transcendental loving service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, all other qualifications, material qualifications, uh, acquiring, uh, they are simply laboring hard, that's all. There is no benefit. <coughs> as soon as this body is finished, whatever I acquire by my material qualification, that is all finished. But if you have got a tinge of spiritual qualification, that will go with you. Because you are spirit soul, you are eternal. Therefore, whatever spiritual activities you do, that is also eternal. Now the question is that does it mean that Krishna is hankering after your service? We are advising everyone to just become a servant of Krishna or his representative. Krishna and his representative uh, is Identity, uh, identical. That is uh, explained in the Gurvast. 
Sangsara Dhavana Lai, you chant this song in the last verse that is Sakshadharitena Samastha Shastri. The representative of Krishna is not different from him. That is the way of dealing even in the material field. Anyone's representative is as good as the proprietor. Even an ordinary canvas has. He comes to book some order from you, but as soon as he signs on behalf of such and such company, then the company is responsible for his signature because he is represented. Even if he has transacted some business at a loss, the company has to uh, bear it. If there is no property, the company cannot refuse the contract because it has been signed by a representative. Is it not a fact? Uh, what do you think? This business? This is business dealing. Uh, as soon as a man signs for a such and such company, he do, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Just like a representative, ordinary policeman, he comes with a paper. Ah, here is a warrant for you. You have to go immediately. Uh, what is this? You can say what you are. You are non significant. No. He is representative of government. Therefore, you have to abide by his rule, abide by his order. So, in the material world also, representative value is there. Similarly, Oh, yeah. the spiritual master is representative of Krishna. And Vishnu Chakravarti advises that in all the scriptures it is stated that uh, spiritual master is identical with the Supreme Lord. Sakshad Sakshad means exactly the same. Saksha. Not that uh, indirectly. Saksha means directly, just like face to face. If you see the representative of Krishna, if that means you are seeing Krishna. Because you have to see Krishna through that representative, otherwise there is no seeing Krishna. He is the transparent via media. Everyone has no idea what is Krishna. And because the representative of Krishna induces one to see Krishna and gives him knowledge and intelligence and tactics how to see Krishna, therefore he is as good as Krishna. That is the verdict of all shastra. Sakshad haritena samastha shastra. Samastha means all. And Shastra means scripture. Yeah. Shastra, Vedic literature, authorized literature. That is the word. Kintu Prabhuja. But it does not mean, not like the Mayavadi. The Mayavadi, they present, uh, he is Krishna. But uh, Vaishnava, uh, spiritual master, he does not say that I am Krishna. He says I am humble servant of Krishna. That is his position. Kintu, but uh, the servant why is as good as Krishna? Because he is the most confidential servant. Therefore he is as good as Krishna. So here the question is that a disciple, a follower is advised to serve Krishna. Krishna is far away. He is representative. Just like cats and dogs. Vaishnava Thakur Tomaru Kukur Bholiya Janaha More. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written one song. Vaishnava Thakur, a spiritual master, or a Vaishnava is called Thakur, just like we say 
Bhakti means Thakur. Thakur means as good as God. Thakur. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. So, Vaishna, who is actually representative of Krishna, he is also Thakur. Vishna Chakoti Thakur, we say. Baladev Vindavasan Thakur. All the big Vaishnavas, those who are representatives of Krishna, they are called Thakur. So, Vaishnava Thakur Tomara Kukur. Vaishnava, the Bhaktivinoda Thakur is addressing, my dear Vaishnava, devotee of Lord Krishna, you are Thakur, you are as good as Krishna. So, you accept me. Tomara Kuku, you accept me as your dog. So he has sung a very lengthy song, Tomara Kuku, Rubulia Jana Homore. You please accept me as your dog. And then he described as the dog watches the door. No outsiders are allowed to come in. So he says, I shall always watch your door. I shall not allow any non-devotee to enter your house. He is saying like that. And for my food, whatever remnants of food he will throw me, I shall be satisfied with that. In this way he has presented himself as a dog to the devotee. <clears throat> so, why this instruction? Does the Vaishnava require a dog or Krishna require any servant? So this verse says that Naimatmana Prabhu Rayana Nirjalava Purva. The Lord Prabhu or his representative. He does not require any service. He does not require any service. Then what is the use of offering myself as a dog, as a servant? He is not need of a dog or a servant. Nija lava purna. Nija means own. Lava. Lava means gain. Purna. Purna means fully. He has Krishna. Krishna is full himself. Sarai Sadya Purna. Purna means complete. He is full of all opulences. Nobody is richer than him. Nobody is deputed than him. Nobody is powerful than him. Nobody is beautiful than him. Nobody is learned than him. Nobody is renouncer than him. No. Let's see. Uh, Krishna has created, God created this world. But God does not uh, come here. He has got his own place. Kingdom of God. Let's see, renouncer. You do whatever you like. You take, enjoy. You want to enjoy. You want to become God. You want to imitate our life, take this world, material world, and do whatever you like. Who can be renouncer than him? If you construct a small building, oh, it is my building. No trespasser allowed. Just see how Krishna is renouncer. God created. The God is, nobody is more renouncer than God. Krishna. So, how we can become, how we can satisfy him by becoming his dog or servant? He can create millions of servants like you. Why he, he is a, shall be anxious to accept you? A fourth class, or not even what class, no classification. So, here it is said, uh, 
पर वो आया ना प्रभु कृष्णा निज लाभ पूर्णा ही इज कंप्लीट इन हिम सेल्फ देर इज नो नीड हैव एनी सर्विस फॉर हिम अदर अनलेस ही इज कंप्लीट हाउ यू कैन बी गॉड Similarly, the question is raised all right if Krishna the supreme personality of godhead is complete that's accepted the how is representative is complete uh, so he requires some servant or dog uh, no he is also complete how is complete because because The complete is his property. <coughs> Krishna is his property. Therefore, he is also complete. Yeah. Just like the father is very rich man, and the little son, he is not rich man. But because he is rich man's son, <coughs> therefore he is rich. Man. <coughs> Automatically. जंगलब्धा चापुरंग लाभंग मन्नते नाधिकंग तथा भगवद गीता इज पॉइंट दैट इफ यू कैन अचीव कृष्णा हाउ यू कैन अचीव कृष्णा कृष्णा डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी सर्विस फ्रॉम यू बट दे लव इफ यू कैन अचीव कृष्णा देन यू फील दैट आई डोंट रिक्वायर एनीथिंग मोर जंगलब्धा by gaining which a person thinks complete full guru maharaj said when he saw vishnu he say say said samin kita tosmi varam na jat uh, my dear lord my all desires and demands are now fulfilled i don't want it this is krishna consciousness If actually one becomes Krishna conscious, he has no more demand for anything material. Not not by becoming Krishna conscious, even by coming to the spiritual light, one can become like that. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. As soon as one realizes his self, immediately becomes joyful. So long there is demand. For our sense gratification, we cannot be joyful. So, nijalabha purna. Tere king dhanadi atpani na sammanang prati suiva bhagavan apikkesa nitya. So this verse says no. Just like in the material sense, if I got uh, immense wealth. If I got immense man power, many servants, many children, many followers, many houses, many bank balance, much bank balance, all these things, so that is a a kind of so-called satisfaction. So does Krishna and his devotee require this kind of satisfaction by possessing more? This says this verse says no. It is not that. Krishna is representative. Is not trying to possess more, just like uh, ordinary man. You cannot sit like this. Tari king dhanadi atpane na sammanam prakita. Here in the material world, they want to acquire riches and man power. Uh, that is uh, material desire, fulfilment of material desire. So does it mean that Krishna and his devo- devotee or his representative is like that, uh, desiring to fulfill some material ambition by getting money and men? Uh, this verse says no. It is not that. Tare hi king dhanadi atpane sammanam prakithyo bhagwan apikkhata. The Lord does it, or uh, does He? Uh, I mean to say, what? Or does it depend upon such material acquisition? Therefore, He is canvassing that you surrender unto Me, uh, you follow Me, so that another addition of servant He gets. 
No, it is not like that. Try to understand this. Ang Prabhu Ishara Abhidiso Alpakad Janat Manang Pujang Atmana Arthi Na Vrnite Nechati Jata Nijalabhe Naiva Purna. The Supreme Personality of Godhead does not require any service. Ah. He is already satisfied by his own opulence. Tare king pujane chati eva tatraha koruna kripalu ata brinate cha tatre hatu jadajad iti. Jan janga manam jadva jad jasmad jane dhanadina bhagavati manam vidadita tadeva atmane bhavati nanat jatha mukhi kriteva tilokari sri sova. Pratibhimma shabhavati natu shakshata saiva kottam shakati tadva. The Prahlad Maharaj says that he demands your surrender, your service, or your wealth. You uh, give me everything. Uh, it is for your benefit. He is full. Uh, just like a, a small example. Suppose a bank advertises that uh, you deposit your money, we give you uh, five percent. So does it mean the bank has got less money <coughs> and is trying to get your money to fulfill? No. The bank has immense money. But if you deposit some money in the bank, then your money is protected and you get nice interest. The bank is not poverty still. Uh, don't think. I'm just giving a crude example. Uh, similarly, by serving Krishna, you will be benefited. Uh, that way it is said, Manam Janad Abhidusha. People do not know Abhidusha. Abhidusha means they are fools. Uh, they are thinking that uh, why shall I become servant of God? Why shall I become dog of God? Uh, but he will become very willingly a dog of a third class man. Therefore, he is Abhidusha. Abhidusha means fool, rascal. He will agree to become a dog, a servant of a fourth-class man, third-class man, and nonsense. But as soon as we shall say that you become servant of Krishna, dog of Krishna, he will protest, oh, why shall I become? I am God. Let's see. I am Krishna. They see the fun. <laughs> Therefore, Abhidusha. Abhidusha means rascal, fool. So, manang janad Abhidusha karuna brinite. So, when Krishna says that you surrender unto me, it is his mercy. Out of his mercy, he is asking that this will be good for you. You are servant of God, you are dog of uh, servant of Maya, dog of Maya, servant of nonsense, dog of nonsense. You just become my dog, my servant. That will be good for you. And he gives assurance also. Aung Tang Sarvapapi Bhammukhishami. I shall give you protection from all sinful reactions. Suppose I am servant of a third-class nonsense. When he asks me something to do which is abominable, which I should not do, but in order to keep my service there, I have to do it, and it is sinful. But from the reaction of sinful activities, he cannot give me protection. I will have to suffer. Therefore, uh, one who is intelligent, he can understand 
that kamadinam kutidhana kutidha palita dunnidesa. I have served throughout my whole life. Uh, serving means, actually I am serving not any master. I don't like that master. I don't wish to serve because I know that he is third class, fourth class man. But I am serving my lust. Uh, I think that by serving this man, I shall get some money, so I shall be able to satisfy my senses. So therefore, I am not serving, because I am uh, not inclined to serve him. But because, see, I am serving his money. So kāma dhināṁ kuti dhāna kuti dhā pālita dhunni desa. Therefore, to serve my lust, I have done so many abominable things. But in spite of doing that, tīśāṁ kurunānaṁ i jāta. I have served uh, the lust, kāmādhināṁ. Uh, kāmādhināṁ means not only lust. Uh, lust, anger, avarice, envy, so many things. So I have served throughout my whole life. But unfortunately, still they are not kind to me. They are not kind to me. One man is serving the dictation of his senses. Even if he is old, just going to die, still he is after that sense gratification. He knows that this drinking habit is not good. Uh, and, and nobody will say uh, any uh, of his son that you become a drunkard like me, a divorce like me, because he knows. But uh, he cannot give it up. Uh, this is the material position. Kama dinan kotidha kotidhana palita dunni desha. All is dictating. So one who has got this sense that uh, I am serving Maya, I am serving illusion. So Krishna is demanding from me service, why not serve Krishna? This is intelligence. So Abhidisha, Karuna Brinit. Then another thing is that I can See, suppose I am serving somebody in the, in the material sense. So I am getting some money. Oh. But what I am getting, if I serve Krishna and God, I am not getting even money. Huh? It is simply I am wasting my energy. Oh. No. It says, Jajjat jano bhagavati vidadita mano. The service rendered unto Krishna. Tacha Atmane. If you are serving Krishna, that means you are actually serving yourself. The same example. The hands and legs, they are serving the stomach. You see, whole day working and they were food is moving, the hand is preparing food, and the brain is working, every, everyone. But after the preparation and food, the stomach is sitting idly and you are operating. The stomach is doing nothing. <laughs> and the, the other limbs of the body, they are working all day and night. But when the actual food stuff is prepared, uh, it is to be given to the stomach. So why? Why it should be done? That the Bhagavad says that if you do that, that is your welfare. That is your welfare. Whatever you give to Krishna, that is your. 
that is your beauty, that is your um, everything that comes to the example. Example is here given. Tatcha atmane prathimukasya jathamukasya prathimukasya. Suppose if you decorate your face, suppose Krishna is the face, and uh, you decorate Krishna this face, but you cannot see the beauty of the face. The eyes are there in the face, but you cannot see how much beautifully it is decorated. But you stand before a mirror and the face reflected in the mirror, you see all the beauty. So we are, uh, man is made after God. You see, we are just a reflection of God. The, as the, in the mirror, the reflection, you can see the beauty. Similarly, by serving God, you serve your society, you serve your country, you serve yourself, everything. This is the secret. By serving God, nobody is loser. He serves himself, he serves his country, he serves his family, he serves the human society, he serves the living entity, everyone. The same principle. When the stomach is satisfied, the, all the limbs of the body are satisfied. When the water is poured on the root of the tree, all the branches and fruits and flowers, they are automatically nourished. Uh, this is the secret of Krishna consciousness, that to become Krishna conscious, to become dog of Krishna, servant of Krishna, means uh, you are philanthropist, you are national, you are um, altruistic, so many good qualifications, you are universal brotherhood, there are big, big words all, but all these things can be achieved in one stroke by simply becoming Krishna conscious. You become good member of your family, you become good citizen, you, you become good, um, um, I would say, uh, yourself, uh, you become humanitarian, you become philanthropic, altruistic, everything. Just uh, take one example. Uh, take any devotee, how he is full in all these qualifications. He is a good member of the family, he is a good citizen, he is a good philanthropic, he is a good altruistic, everything. Sarvai gunai tattva samasati sura. As soon as one becomes Krishna consciousness, all these good qualities will develop in him. Therefore, the very good example that tatcha atmane prathimukasya jathamukasya. Mukasri, the beauty of the face after decoration, the, the face cannot see immediately, uh, but it is reflect, it can be seen in the reflection. So if people accept this philosophy of Krishna consciousness, then the reflection, the world is the reflection, this material world is the reflection of the spiritual world. Everything will be satisfactory, everything will be peaceful, everything will be glorious. Tasmadaham vigatavik lava ishara shya sarvatmana. Sarvatmana mahi gnami jathamani sam. Nichu jaya gunavisad gamano pravishya puita jina hi pumano nuvarnitina. Tasmadevam. Therefore, if the process is like that, if one understands fully that by simply serving Krishna, simply becoming Krishna conscious, I become fully qualified in everything, then why not accept it? The Prahlad Master, Jasmadeva, because it is like that, 
तस्मादेव भगवान भक्त तुष्यति so simply by discharging devotion and service in krishna consciousness everything can be achieved then uh, what shall i do tasma aham nichu i know that i am disqualified in every respect i am born of a demon father i cannot give any good uh, representation of my family uh, my father and i am also a little boy a child i am not educated i never studied vedanta how to please god how to understand never studied philosophy so i am disqualified by birth by age by education and everything nicho in everything i am lower that is the uh, temperament of a vaishnav Vishnam never thinks, no, I am this, I am that. But Lord Maharaj, just see how much qualified he is, but he is thinking himself. Nietzsche, Nietzsche means the most downtrodden, the most fallen. Just like Narasim Das Thakur is singing, Potita pavana hetu tava avatar mosama potita pavu nahi pavaya. My dear Lord Chaitanya, you have appeared to deliver the fallen souls, but please note that you will find uh, no, I mean, degraded fallen souls uh, more than me. I am the last. Uh, if you are finding out the fallen souls, my number is the last. So therefore, kindly accept me. And then the, from the opposite side, because you have come to claim the fallen souls, because from the opposite side my number is first. Please accept me. So this is the Vaishnava mentality. Here Prahlad Maharaj say that I am niche, I am fallen, I am the lowest. I have no good qualification, no good parentage, nothing of this sort. That how can I serve Krishna, the Supreme? Uh, but the only hope is that that whatever I do, uh, uh, that is good for me. So even if I do a little, that little is good for me. There is no question of disappointment. He doesn't require any service from me. But whatever little service I can render, that is for my good. So there is no question of loss. Dasma devam bhagavan bhaktai vatasati dasma daham nicho bhi vigata bhi klava. Therefore I should not hesitate. Nobody should hesitate. Prahlad Maharaj is giving us this assurance that to serve Krishna there is no question of hesitation. There is no question that I am lower, I am uneducated, I am born of this family or that family, or I am black or white or this or that. There is no question of disqualification. In whatever position you are, you can render service to Krishna. Oh. I, my Guru Mahārāja is therefore always instructed that uh, it is not necessary that you have to qualify yourself for serving Krishna. Whatever qualification you have already got, oh, that is sufficient to come to this uh, platform of service. That's all. You don't require any extra qualification. But what extra qualification? So if somebody thinks, let me qualify like this, then I shall be able to serve Krishna better. No. That's a, that's a wrong philosophy. Whatever qualification you have acquired already, you begin Krishna service, Krishna consciousness immediate, so that even a little bit done towards service, you are gainer. 
Bigata Bikla, Gata Sanka. Do not be doubtful that I am not qualified, so I cannot serve. My service will not be accepted. No. Sakarmana Tamabharch, the Bhagavad Gita also, it is said that whatever qualification or whatever uh, asset you have got, just immediately engage to Krishna's service. And whatever you do, little, uh, that is your asset. Because of it, Krama Gata Sankarsan Isharasya Mahi. So uh, let me glorify. We started this back to Godhead uh, so that our students may write in this paper whatever realization he has got. It doesn't matter. I have sent therefore one article written by uh, Bhirubhadra. You see? For publication. Yes. He, one must express his feelings of service. Actually, I started this back to God for this purpose. Not that I want to discuss huge, uh, complicated philosophical thesis. We don't care for that. Uh, one must express how he is feeling are being employed in the service of the Lord, without any doubt. And as soon as one becomes Krishna conscious, he becomes poetic also. There is another qualification. A Vaishnava, a devotee, develops twenty-six kinds of qualification simply by service of Krishna. Out of that, one qualification is that he becomes poetic. So, Maimanam sarva prajatanena. So we uh, simply, uh, if we uh, simply try to explain how Krishna is great, how God is great, oh, that is sufficient service. That is complete service. Sabanam kirtanam. Oh. If you simply go to the people, oh, you are denying God, don't do this. God is very great. God is supplying you food. God has created this world. God is feeding everyone. Simply these two things you speak to the people. By writing or speaking, you are rendering great service. Without any education, without any qualification, you simply just, actually this is the fact. This is the fact. Everything is property of Krishna or God, everything is supplied by Krishna, you are living at the cost of Krishna, your body is given by Krishna. In this way we simply chant and preach like this, you are rendering service. Is it very difficult? Anyone can do. There is no need of qualification. Either you go to Japan or Honolulu or this or that, everyone is man, everyone, everywhere you can say this. Just engage yourself in Krishna's service. That is good for you. That's all. Thank you. Is it very difficult to be a preacher? You are going to be a preacher, going to Japan. Do you think it is difficult? Huh? It is difficult. Simply say like this. You see, the God is great. Don't be puffed up that you are great, you are all powerful, you are God. Give up these foolish ideas. God is great. He has created this world. He is giving you food. He has given you body. Just simply try to convince them these principles and you become a preacher. So is there any question? 
Let's try to understand. This is our philosophy, Krishna consciousness preaching. We don't require any high type of philosophical speculation or this, or this ism, that ism, that ism. No. Simple truth. That's all. Just try to glorify the simple Lord, the great. That's all. And whatever capacity you have got, not that you have to qualify yourself in this way. It is very nice to preach Krishna consciousness. When I, I was first in Boston, I was thinking on the sea that I have come to preach here Krishna consciousness. I see these people are so much addicted to so many nonsense things. How I shall convince them? What shall I tell them? How they will understand me? It's complete different culture. The country I was thinking like that. Anyway, when Krishna has sent me, let me try. Otherwise, I shall go back. Yes, actually, I was thinking like that. I never thought that so many boys and girls will understand me and work with me. From the very beginning, I was thinking that it is impossible because their mode of living, their mode of culture, everything is different. And I brought Krishna consciousness. I love to say, you don't take meat, I don't take uh, uh, intoxication, don't have illicit sex. I said, How they will be able to do that? I was thinking. But by Krishna's guess, everything is possible. That is my practical experience. So we have to work very sincerely, uh, keeping our faith in Krishna, uh, do this preaching work. It is not difficult. He will be happy. And whatever service you render to Krishna, that becomes your permanent asset, permanent bank balance, never to be spoiled. Such nice thing. If you have any question, you can ask me or chant Hare Krishna. Any question? No? Gorsanda, you have no question? Govinda Dayati?